hi viewer thank you for joining me once again on this channel over here is about soul lifting messages messages that will help you grow spiritually so this is the final part of how to access power through scriptures by apostle joshua selma hallelujah this is very important you must learn the ways of god there are many of you who don't read books you don't study any material you don't learn the bible says buy the truth and sell it not it takes hunger and diligence please go online and listen to my message buy the truth i preached it in takoradi in ghana buy the truth say very i listed there in that teaching five currencies that we use to buy the truth hunger meekness honor these are currencies that we use to buy the truth you must passionately learn. Learn the things that you do not know. Knowledge is available. Knowledge is more available today than it was any time in history. It takes humility and a recognition that if I do not know and I remain in darkness, anything you want to learn today, it is available. You want to make yourself more valuable, even physically, it is available. Your destiny helper comes to your house and you don't know how to cook and you say God will favor me you did not bless the person are you not in trouble can't you go and meet somebody to learn how to cook as a way of preparing to honor your destiny helper a man old enough to be your father comes to your house and after two hours you give him a cup of cold water and he says God forbid <laughs> hallelujah You do not understand the principles of relationship and courtesy to greet. Those little, little things can rob you of the power of God. You may not see the power that is invested through knowledge. Believers, please hear me. You must understand the word dimension of the power of God. Go for the word. I immerse myself in knowledge. The knowledge of scripture and then wisdom from men and women with proven track records it's not only god i want to know i want to know the men i am sent to i want to understand how men think i want to understand the principles of influence i want to understand leadership i want to understand how to impact people it's not an impartation it comes by knowledge go and buy books go online settle down give yourself revelation projects and settle down and learn if you're with me say amen. amen please obtain grace to learn obtain grace to learn don't be lazy reject laziness it is of the devil it is a robber and a destroyer of beauty and color from a destiny A lazy generation that just believes in impartation alone will only be making a mockery of themselves let me tell you sincerely it is often said on easy lies the head that wears the crown if you're a man of God the only thing you learn is not it's not only prayer and fasting and Bible study you learn you must learn administration you must learn finances you must learn leadership you must learn people skills are we together there are all kinds of veterans of leadership within this ministry go and subscribe for their programs and learn and build capacity sometimes we suffer the pain of a generation that does not want diligence but we want results oh god it doesn't matter how you do let me just see the results i know you are merciful the mercy of God is not a license for foolishness. Let me tell you the truth. A diligent hand shall be made fat. There are many lazy preachers, I'm sorry to say. There are many lazy business people. You want to have influence over people? It is not only anointing you will need. An empty and a dull head. Nobody will come and submit to any leadership that does not have capacity. People are intelligent people. Don't forget that some of the people you will find around you are also leaders in their corporations, conglomerates. They have children. Some of them are employers of people to the thousands. They will not come and sit down under a leader that does not know what he's saying. There has to be a high level of advanced, developed intelligence. 
your mind must be alive not your spirit alone and it takes diligence receive grace to be diligent shout a loud amen receive grace to be diligent avoid premature manifestation if you are not ready sit down when you are ready the door will open if the door is closed is god's mercy keeping you so that you don't rubbish the opportunity he's giving you sit down sit down and learn make up your mind that when god brings you to your season of appearance you will not bring shame and reproach to yourself and to the name of christ hallelujah the understanding of scripture empowers men to release that dimension of god's power the bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty to penury that means if you're a greedy person who is always withholding forget about increase whether it is in the secular or in the kingdom you see giving is one of the major active ingredients as far as kingdom wealth and prosperity is concerned god will not trust you i hope you know that wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement no maybe in the world it will be but in the kingdom wealth is a trust from god a man can receive nothing except it is given to him from above and there are conditions that must be met god loves everybody but according to matthew chapter 25 i think from verse 16 or so the parable of the talents the bible tells us very clearly that he gave unto one five talents he gave unto one one talent a two talents he gave unto one one talent according to their several abilities not according to his love for them he loved all of them but he gave them according to their capacities and at the end of the story we see that he was just and fair to have done that in the kingdom god will not cast his spell before swine you want God to commit to you the grace for nations and territories. It has to rise and match your level of spiritual and intellectual acumen.